Hey there, this is Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller, and I thought I'd bring you another haul video, and one day, someday, maybe in the future, I'll bring you a sales video, because I have had a pretty good month. September was pretty good. Um, October, so far, is looking pretty good, too. Uh, of course, we're in Q4, which makes everybody happy, just about. Um, but I went shopping yesterday to a 50% off sale at um, Valley Thrift. It's kind of like the Savers. And then um, I went shopping today at Two Goodwills. I don't have a ton. I mean, I have two days worth of shopping, but I don't have as many things as you would think, but I did get some decent things. And I don't know what's going on with the siren. They're not coming to take me away, haha. -ha. Pretty sure. Um, and hell, I got meatballs in the oven, so we can't play around with the police, okay? Um, anyway, found this big bag this big bag of letters and numbers. And I thought those look cool. Um, I'm wondering if they're worth anything. I paid $3 for the big bag and we got fours, we got sevens, we got tens and a whole array of other letters. Um, they're actually Jim Henson uh, letters and numbers. Um, and each one has a character, a little sticker character, and most of them are in good shape. There are a couple where the sticker's torn. Um, these were from the 90s, I believe, and um, they're stackable, I think. But um, from the research, it doesn't look like there's a ton of solds, but it looks like they sell when they're listed. So uh, each, let, each number set has 10 numbers in it, I have two sets of those. Those sell for about $20 each. Let me put down my numbers. And the letter sets, I have one complete letter set and about 21 other letters. And um, the letter sets sell for about 30. I'm gonna try and either sell the letters that are left over individually or I'll just lock them all up and sell them together for about $20. So, ah. Or, ha ha, who knows? Uh, whatever makes you happy. So, I was pretty happy about that. And that's something I did not look up. I just went with my gut. It's kind of a big gut. Uh, and um, bought them because, you know, three bucks, um, they can go to the grandkids if, if they're not worth anything. Uh, but that's probably not supposed to be my philosophy, but hell, who cares? Um, I picked these up for me. I got these at the bins, actually, because I did go to the bins yesterday. They're these little prints, not like the one that wears purple and sings. I think he died. Uh, but prints with the T. This is Paris, and this is also Paris. That's the Eiffel Tower. That's the Arc de Triomphe. And um, this is kind of my style of art, so I picked those up for myself because that's what I do. Put those right there. Stop looking at my head. Um, I picked up, I don't even know where to go next. Oh, I'm kind of excited about this and I'll probably look through this today. Now, some of these are not vintage because that's a Pepperidge Farm uh, button. Uh, so that's not very old, but, but there's some really cool buttons and I like, uh, I like vintage, you know, I have a store that I sell vintage buttons and postcards and that thing on. Um, and so I like this kind of stuff. There's the Vacation Bible School. That is not what got me excited about this. Neither of those buttons. Let me see what did. Um, there's the Junkamania. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's a Teen Talk button. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all of these, but, and I don't think there's any that are truly Vintage, vintage, look at that. That's just awesome. Uh, but they are older because, don't forget donuts, how could you? How is that even possible? But you can see the back's kind of older. So I'll go through those um, and see if there's anything, you know, if there are any that I'll sell separately, which I think there's probably one or two in here I will. Uh, again, I got this for I got this at the bin, so pay hardly anything for it. And, uh, you know, what I can't sell separately, I will part out. Enough about that. Um, Holly, you know Holly, 
Uh, she was with me yesterday, and she's become quite a little picker. She kind of knows what I go for and what I don't. She brought this to me. Hold, bear with me. This gigantic bag uh, that was marked $14.99. So I got this for $7.50. And this has an Oster Kitchen Center in it. And if you don't know what that is, um, Oster made, I think in the 60s and 70s, this kitchen setup that would work as a mixer and it would work as a blender and it would also work as a food processor. Um, and the base, you could interchange the, um, the tools. So I got that for $7.50 and this has got the, like the base units in it, like all of the important things. And then later, Um, later for $12.99, which so we paid $6.50, we found the rest of the accessories um, that included the meat grinder and uh, more of the food processors and etc. And I'm thinking, let's see, so $6.50 and $7.50, what I got in it, $14.00. I'm thinking I will sell this online as a huge lot because it all goes together and maybe put it at 150 uh, plus shipping. And coincidentally at the bins, we found another piece to it, but this is already in there. So, but I can sell that separately. I uh, got this at Goodwill today. I paid, I think these were, I think purses were $3.99. I don't really didn't pay really attention. Um, this is a cool purse. It is kind of a vinyl, not a vinyl, a nylon with a really nice leather trim, but this is a Dooney and Burke. Um, it is kind of, I don't know if you can see that, kind of gross right here, but I'm going to try and clean that and I may keep this for myself. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the strap being that short, but I'll work that out with myself later. Um, I got that. I paid $3.99 for these and I forgot to test them. I think they're good. Um, a pair of Dansko clogs, which tend to do pretty well. I think that's something I don't really like to pass up. Um, I paid $4 for this. Um, this is, I don't know what the name of the dollhouse is, but it's a Tyco. And it was made in 1993. And it looks like this dollhouse with the furniture can sell for about $80 online. However, my dollhouse has a cracked roof in a couple of places. So I'm probably going to end up parting this out. Um, the dollhouse won't, won't have much that I can part out. But it does have somewhere some window panels that popped out of it and I will part those out and maybe anything that will easily pop off um, that I think will sell. And then I'm going to either sell the, the, um, the furniture as a lot or I will, that I will part it out. And um, I can do pretty well with things like this. Again, I paid $4 for that entire thing. See what I got here. Oh, I bought, I don't know if this is worth anything, but it's new with tags. And on the tag, it says it originally cost $44.99. This is called a cocoon and it is a travel sheet so that you don't have to lay on those hotel sheets. And this is 100% silk. I paid $1.99 for it and I did not look that up so I don't know if it's worth anything or if it'll go in a yard sale someday. Um, I paid a dollar ninety nine. Did I? Three ninety nine for this, and those headphones aren't really worth anything because they don't have the cushiony parts. But this is a Sony Walkman. It's a newer one, um, but it's got TV. You can pick up TV, weather, and radio on this. Um, it is. I don't know that it's a CD player. Is it? Yes. 
Oh, look at that. That's nice. So nice. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, I didn't look it up. Uh, some of these Walkmans do really, really well, and those are typically the, um, the older ones, the sports versions. Um, but, I mean, I should do, it should, it should net me 20. I should get 20 out of that, I would think. Um, and if I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not going to stress over it. Let's see. Yesterday, I picked up this bag. I paid $3 for it. Um, it's got some brand new sealed Dove men's deodorant that will not be resold. Um, but it came with these Act Dry Mouth lozenges. And it looks like they sell for about $7 each. I will lock these two together and try to get about $15 shipped on those. Let's see. What is this? Did I just put that? Oh. Um, I bought a, a thermometer, candy thermometer, oil thermometer for myself. And then this is a really cute uh, luggage strap. Also, probably for myself because I have these grand delusions that I'm going to travel the world. It could happen. You don't know. You don't know me. Um, I bought a shark steamer with some accessories. I usually do okay with the accessories. This one just happened to have the steamer in it as well. Um, and I paid two dollars and fifty cents for that. Today I picked up two of these, which I love, uh, but will not let myself keep. Um, and they are these really nice, squishy sunflower pillows. Um, I paid $3 each for those, and I might put those up local for like 20 bucks. Um, so not a huge win on those, but that's okay. It makes me happy to sell those things. Um, I picked this up. This is for a KitchenAid. Paid three dollars for it. I'm hoping it fits my KitchenAid. If it doesn't, that will be resold for whatever it will resell for. Um, I picked this up for two dollars. This is Wella Life Tex Wellness Big Splash. I don't even know what it is. Is it can hydrating purity rinse? So if you're not pure, what I recommend is that you look in my store in a couple of days and pick this up. If you're one of my viewers, I'll give you a good discount. Maybe I need to keep this for myself. I'm not really pure. But I think I can get about $12 for this. Um, uh, I don't know what this is for. I'll have to do some research. But I paid a dollar for it. And this is one of the, the basket and handles from a an espresso mis machine. And I'm working hard to become the queen of parts um, because I love parts and you all know I love parts so I just pick up random stuff like that and try to figure out what it is uh, especially when it's dirt cheap um, I picked this up I have sold this before but but closer to the time when the cars movies first came out um, I think that it's it's adorable and uh, I hope it's not broken and I paid two dollars and fifty cents for this, and I think I can get about fifteen or twenty for that. I said I think. I said I think. Um, that's a space bag. That's not relevant. Let's see. Let's see what else is in here? Oh, um, bought a bag of flatware, but I don't know if there's much in here. Um, this is five ninety nine. Um, I paid three bucks for it. And then I bought this really big fat, this really big fat thing of flatware, and it was, I paid $5 for it, and I was really excited about it, and it's trash, it's trash, but that's okay too. You live, you learn. Uh, I paid 50, I paid 35 cents for these, and these are dough hooks for an Oster, um, maybe, um, not an Oster, maybe a Sunbeam Mix Master kit, uh, stand mixer. After doing parts for a while, you start to recognize um, what the parts go to. Of course, it could be for the Oster. It's for one of them. Uh, I, we're almost done, I think. Uh, I picked this up. I paid $4.99 for it. 
and the price is kind of all over on eBay. Uh, I may try to sell this locally. I may put it on eBay. I'm not sure. Doesn't have a needle, but it is a Crossley suitcase style portable um, record player. Again, I don't know uh, if it works, but it should. Um, I will have to buy a needle for it. Put the needle on the record. Um, anyway, um, I'm thinking I would get somewhere between $25 and $50 on that. Just depends. And I did buy a $45 today so that I could test that. And it just happens to be Kenny Loggins, I'm all right. Well, there's a statement, isn't it? All right, um, just a couple more things. I picked this up for $7.99, I believe. This is an American Harvest jet oven, and jet stream oven, sorry. And uh, these do pretty well. I think I can get about 60 bucks for that. And it does look like it has accessories with it. You know, it's not a video unless I break something. And here we go, folks. So these are the window panels out of that dollhouse. And this was the archway of the door that I just snapped. Say lovey. You know, it's okay. Um, one more thing, I think. I think just one more. But no, a couple more things. Um, so I picked up this Linda Evans rejuvenique um, beauty mask system the things women do to themselves uh, but it does look like it's in pretty good shape still has uh, like the lotions and stuff with it and here is the the mask and there's a there's a part of me that wants to draw that mustache and that little soap soul patch on it you know and put that black hat on you know what I'm talking about I forget what his name is um, but it looks like these do pretty well I paid $5.99 for this and I think this will go in the neighborhood of $50 to $80 um, so I'm pretty happy about that at least some of the things that I bought I'm sure will sell for a pretty good oh look there's a 45 um, for, for a decent amount. Um, I bought this for $2 and meatballs are done. Um, and it is a charger and some batteries for vacuum cleaner. And then one last thing, if you'll, nope, two last things. sandy pants the two last things are this is a mr. coffee no this is a DeLonghi cafe Sorrento that I paid four dollars for and I have not decided whether I will part this or list it as it is and then finally I paid five dollars for this I don't even know what these sell for but it's a box of three of the integrated, um, yeah, what are they called? Fire alarms that smoke detectors that uh, lay hardware into your house. So, um, you know, like when one level goes off, all of the levels go off to let you know that you need to get out of the house. Um, this came with three. I paid five bucks and. I plan to use this in my own house because I have this system, but my my smoke detectors are probably from 1994 when they built this place, so they need to be replaced. Um, they sound pathetic when they go off now, you know, kind of wimpy. But that's what I bought. I will get busy probably Thursday listing all of this stuff, and uh, hopefully we'll keep our sales going. I hope things are going well in your world. I just want to say uh, to Chris and Andy, thanks for shopping with me. 
Chris yesterday and Andy today. I really enjoy spending time with you both and someday maybe the twain shall meet. Um, but until next time, remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.